John Altman has written his real life story and he joins me now. It's so good to see you, John. How are you good doing? Good to see you. Oh, yeah. it's lovely to see you. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Congratulations on the book. Thank you. In the Nick of Time, it's called, which yes. I think is a great title. I think I thought of the title myself. I yeah. think you did. Yes, I think you did. Indeed, yeah. Yeah. Very honest, very, very honest, which is great. What I was really surprised about was that you were a shy kid. Yeah, painfully shy. Yeah. Really? I can't imagine you being yeah. shy. I think particularly people with glasses. I think it was down to the doctor that used to give me those painful injections you got in the 50s, you know. So, yeah. But I, I, it got better. Very I think good. acting was quite therapeutic for me. I think so it probably was. It brought me out of yeah. myself. Yeah. And yeah. again, you know, when I said about being honest, you talk about your teens, you're a bit of a rebel. You know, mm. ended up in, in jail at one point in Belgium. Yes. Um, you talk <laughs> about all of that, but you yeah. manage, you know, you always manage to bring it back. You always manage to pull it back. Yeah, looking at the book, it seems you never actually see your whole life, do you? And it's you do a book yeah and uh, have, you, have you done one yourself i have a wee while ago and oh, it was right. really interesting you're right you, you kind of yeah you, 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 there's things that you think oh, i can't believe i did that yes it's like <laughs> I, I feel like i've lived many lifetimes within yeah. my life actually there have been a lot of different phases sure. and very interesting looking back too because a lot of the diaries that i work from so i kept diaries for well ever since i've been in east enders i kept a, a page yeah. a day which hasn't been easy that's good but uh, you, you think gosh how did i manage to write that like when i was in prison i kept managed to keep a diary with a pencil and get any bit of paper i could Mm. Just to write down how how it all was, I was quite surprised at how uh, how you know, I thought it was quite good actually for, yeah, for, well, for that time when I was a bit out of my head they, sometimes. They you say know. keep a I diary it, and it'll keep you yeah, one day. That's yeah, for yeah. sure. Mm. What I found interesting as well about the book was the fact that obviously now EastEnders is firmly established. There it is, you know, one of the UK's most loved and, and most successful shows. But when you were doing it and you were actually... Nobody knew it was going to be a success. I mean, nobody, no. nobody had a clue. Yes. And I found that fascinating about the sort of, like, you know, when you were doing the pilots and you were working mm. out the characters. Yeah. And, and all the characters we, we, we remember from the start. It was yes. incredible. Yeah, the square was being built and, and, and we were building the parts and yeah. rehearsing with old... In, in a studio with just blocks of wood and no furniture. And, uh, yes, it, it was exciting days. Mm. We had a feeling, though. So sort of like when I did the Beatles film, I went for the last audition, had a Feeling that was going, I was, right. was going to get. I don't know why. Some, sometimes deep down, you, just you don't want to. You don't want to tempt fate, but you maybe sure. you f it feels good and you feel that some some success is going to. Come. Yeah, well, it certainly yeah. has. Mm. The thing about it is, and you, and you do talk about this in the book, which I think is good. EastEnders opened doors for you, but closed them as well. Mm. It's been a kind of double-edged sword, hasn't it? Very much, per perfectly described. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's been it's been quite frustrating sometimes. I think in the theatre, I've had more of a chance to. Um, for you know, sure. And you've done a lot of play many different parts, years, like yeah. well, Billy Flynn in Chicago the Musical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did 525 of those wow. on the road. And I, I, I love that show, I really yeah, do. See, John Partridge is doing that now, bless him. I have to go and check him out. See check him out. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, so uh, I, there are, you know, there's an independent film I did last year. I got a Best Actor Award in the Chicago Independent Film Festival, pl playing a psychiatrist in, in, in that. So, th so I'm, I'm managing to break it a bit. Maybe now that he's. Now that he's gone, if mm. you know what I mean, there is that full yeah. stop now. Because there sure. was always the thing of you were never quite sure when he was going to come back. Mm. You know, because you came back, you, ha you had so many comebacks, more comebacks than share. Exactly. <laughs> you were always <laughs> coming in. But you always were, and, and that character yeah. kind of, you know, as I said, it's been a great thing for you as well, but mm. at the same time, you do get typecast as that person. Yes, it's, it's tough. Hard. And you have to be honest about it sometimes. I mean, if I'd turned up in Downton Abbey as a butler, people would have gone, oh, Nick Cotton's a butler in Downton, Ab Downton Abbey. Yes. So I think it's, it's, it's uh, yet, another, it's an, yet another lifetime within my lifetime. Mm. It, it's a new life for me now. I, I'm out of EastEnders looking, mm. and looking, looking for... No, very a, much, a, a and that's kind of... I guess that's why the book is very timely, you know, because mm. it's kind of like saying, well, that was this and that's what happened and, exactly. and there we were. What you do talk about as well, and, and Congratulations to you, 19 years off the booze, more mm. than 19 years. Yeah. That's brilliant. It can be done. It yeah. can be done, but that yeah. is fantastic because mm. that is the hardest thing in the world to, to quit. Very hard. And um, you lost such a lot because of it, but you're getting it back. Exactly, yeah, and it's um, a huge problem for a lot of people out there, and a lot of people don't admit to it. Mm. People are suffering, you know, men and women t terribly, you know, from, from, from all walks of life, till you'd be amazed. I, I, I belong to a fellowship, a 12-step programme, yes, right. which, you, which you need to continue to do. Of course. So uh, if anybody needs to... Uh, you know any more about that? I'm sure they can contact me. No, so definitely. Through, through I, my think agent or whatever. I think it's. I think it's It's definitely worked for me. Yeah. I managed to give up cigarettes as well after that. Wow. And, and, and June Brown said, uh, "Oh, well, oh dear, you're so tense since you gave up cigarettes. Have a fag and relax." You know. <laughs> but, She's uh, a bad influence. Yeah, terrible. But yeah. you know what? That yeah. comes out as well. The bond between you two. Mm. I think that's why it worked so mm. well. Mm. You know that, that that relationship. I mean, and how awful he was. But she's just fantastic. I love her lots. Yeah. She's great. I lost my my my. Real 
real mother uh, this year. Oh, sadly. that's a picture of you. Oh, yeah, there she is there, my two Mars. Oh, yeah. your two yeah, Mars. Yeah, yeah, bless her. Yeah, my mother was 96. Gosh. I was with her when she passed away, bless yeah. her, yeah. Uh, but uh, June's taking care of me now. At, at the age of 89, we did. We went and raised some money up at EastEnders the other weekend uh, for, for Fee Martin, one of the makeup girls. She had, she had to have a cancer operation, cost a fortune. Right. So we all went up there, the calves, last Sunday. We did a meet and greet, and we raised thousands. Wow. I took June back to her home in Surrey. She cooked me a fillet steak and made a salad for me. I gave her some ice cream and fruit. So she's taking care of me. She at is the taking age of 89, care of you. She is extraordinary. She's amazing, she's isn't an amazing she? amazing woman. Force yeah. of nature. Mm, and yeah. that's great that you still... I mean, obviously, these are people that... You protect June, but people that you've made friends for life, of mm. course, because it's yes. been such a massive part of yeah. your life. Yeah, you bond. Yeah. You do, of course yeah, you do. all on the same ship. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. So what's next for you, Panto? You've got to do Panto Villain. It's the law. Well, it's, yes, Captain Hook again. Of course. Stockport Plaza, beautiful Fantastic. old theatre. Yeah, an old dark, art deco theatre. I've been there before. It's lovely. That yeah. is great mm. fun. Great mm. fun. You're a yeah. very good villain. Mm, I enjoy it. But there's a lot more to you than that. There is indeed. There's a lot more to there's you than that. There's a sensitive side. There know. is. Yeah. And we saw yeah. that in, in the book. The book's yeah. called In the Nick of Time. It's out mm. today. It's out today. Out today. Mm. Yeah. Good luck with mm. it, John. I hope it goes really, really well for you. And Thank come you. back and see us real soon. Bless you. Great Lovely to see you. Again. Thank you.